Hey everyone, so in this video we're going to go through unboxing and getting this chest mount set up for your facial motion capture with your Rococo tools. So let's jump into it. Before we get started, you'll need a Phillips head screwdriver to assemble the mount. Let's take our phone mount out of its shipping box and then we'll remove some of this packaging. I'll open up the box and take everything out of the phone. So here we have all the components of the mount. This is the extension. This is the actual phone holder. Here is the chest plate. And then finally in this box, we have the shoulder straps and these two Velcro pieces. To assemble the mount, first we'll take the screw out of the phone holder. You should just be able to do this with your hands, but you can also use a flathead screwdriver if you want. You can see that we have two mounting spots on the phone holder, one for vertical and one for horizontal orientations. We'll position the holder onto the extension piece, and then you can screw the holder into place. And again, I would recommend the horizontal orientation. You can lift up the little tab on the screw to make it as tight as possible. Next, we need to attach the extension piece to the chest plate. To do this, you'll need a standard Phillips head screwdriver. First, we'll take the screw out of the base of the extension. You'll leave the nut in place on that extension base, and then you'll align the extension to the chest plate. There are little raised bits on the extension base that should fit directly into the chest plate holes. Hold the extension in place as you screw the extension to the plate through the center hole on the chest plate. Make sure you've tightened that screw with your Phillips head screwdriver as much as possible to remove any potential wiggle from the extension piece. So now that our extension is attached to our chest plate, we need to work on the straps. You'll put the mount on in the same way that you would a backpack. However, first we need to add these little Velcro pieces to the straps. Each backpack strap has a Velcro piece, which you can adjust for your sizing. But if you just un-Velcro it, you can then thread the backpack strap through the hole in these other little Velcro pieces. I try to orient the pieces so that they both point inwards, but it doesn't really matter, and you can always go and just flip them if needed. So once you've threaded your backpack straps through these Velcro pieces, you can see how we'll attach the chest plate by threading through the holds in the chest plate. And there you go, now we're ready to make some facial mocap. Okay, so I'm here in my SmartSuit Pro 2 now, and I've got my assembled chest piece, and I've also got my backpack straps here. So I'm gonna put these guys on and you just slip it on right like a backpack. And if it's a little bit too tight or too loose, you can adjust that uh, just in these, you know, these Velcro straps back here. You can just make them a little bit looser, a little bit tighter as needed. Um, I'll just put it on like a backpack. There we go. And you can see those two little straps that we uh, put onto the, uh, the, the big backpack straps themselves hang right here. And then to attach the chest piece, we're just going to loop these through the holes. There we go, that's one. And then we'll do the other one. And that's two. And there we go. Our chest piece is now on and we're ready to throw our iPhone, you know, into the phone mount here at the end. And then we can start recording some facial motion capture. And then when I want to take it off, usually what I'll do is just unstrap one of these and leave the other one on. And then next time I can just put it on, loop it up, get back to it. So there you go. So here I am actually in Rococo Studio, you know, with face capture all set up and I can move around. And uh, you know, the software is never gonna lose track of my face. 
And the iPhone is never gonna lose track of my face because it's right here on my chest and it just kind of follows my face so I can move around the room. And even though there's a little bit of wiggle, it's very resilient and it'll continue to pick up, you know, facial expressions through all of that. So that's how you get your iPhone facial mocap chest mount set up and ready to go. If you want to know more, you can always check out the documentation, which will be linked in the description down below, or you can go hit up the Rococo Discord, which is a great source for figuring out any issues you might be having or connecting with us. So thanks for watching. We hope you found this useful and we will see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.